Today we're replacing the rear spar on a damaged steerman wing because of a ground loop on this episode of the Big Sky Steerman Show. A common accident with a steerman is called a ground loop and it damages the rear spar of the lower wing. You can see here how when the airplane spun around and the wing hit the ground, it produced a crack, which is very evident, which radiates off the point where the rear strut, rear interplane struts attach. Other typical damage to the steerman wing in a ground loop is the wing strikes the ground as it's spinning around uncontrollably, and it'll scrape the the tip bow back here aft. Uh, in this instance it actually just scraped the plywood right off the uh, wing tip and it also produced some other damage. The wing ribs, number one tip rib, number two tip rib have damage and will be need to be repaired. This bow also got cracked up here. After the fabric has been removed from the wing, it's important that you do a complete inspection of the wing for other damage. Perhaps the front spar has been cracked and any other damage. This wing is sound and we don't have a lot of major damage other than just the rear spar. First thing we do is we want to expose the spar by removing the metal trailing edge. The wing is sitting here upside down. The wing has been supported by a long timber. When we take the spar out, the wing's going to be pretty wobbly. After the spar is exposed, we need to reduce the tension on the wing by turning the drag and anti-drag wires two turns to loosen them. After the wires are loose, this then allows us to remove the attaching hardware to the rear spar. These compression members are bolted to the rear spar. The aileron hangers are bolted to the rear spar. So we move along and the uh, push-pull control tubes are attached to the rear spar. All of this has to be taken off the spar. At this stage, all of the hardware has, the nuts and bolts have come away from the compression members, all the fittings, everything's just kind of dangling now. And uh, uh, what we're gonna do is prepare now to literally chop the spar out of the old, uh, out of the wing. And what we do is use a, our secret weapon here. And uh, we just start cutting like this. We chop out on either side of the rib the spar and it falls to the floor. So what Brent has done now is start chopping the spar out and you can see this plug that's left in the rear opening of the rib. We're going to use a variety of techniques to get this plug out of the rib rear spar opening. We want it nice and clean. We notice that these uh, ribs are nailed through the cap strip vertically into the spar. Normally that is not allowed. You always do your nailing on the verticals on both sides of the spar. Uh, now we've knocked all the blocks out of the rear op spar opening in the ribs. They're ready now to be uh, dressed and cleaned. Um, we noted that uh, there's never really a good glue joint and generally those blocks will knock out uh, fairly easily. So we're into under the step area now and the spar is glued to the, the step. So what we've done is taken some initial wood out of here. We'll have to come back in here with a chisel and continue cutting down here and removing this and sanding a nice glue joint on the bottom of the step. Okay, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna slice along here and here, knock this block out of here, but then in order to retain this boxed aileron boxed rib in position, we're gonna have to very carefully 
uh, cut all the nails off uh, these the vertical and this uh, glue joint top and bottom and try and uh, just knock the spar stub out of there. Did it! Yes! Hooray! Last piece! Here, high five! Yeah! Yeah! There we go! <laughs> With every spar that we provide to uh, repair a wing, we will provide a test block. This test block is important because the openings have to be sanded and cleaned up, and this test block has to slide through freely, or else the spar is going to pinch and hold up on you. The blocks have been removed from all the rear openings in the ribs and we are now ready to slide the spar into place. So this is our new rear spar that we're going to be installing. Uh, like any other normal build, we got to remove the plates first because they've just been tacked in place. Uh, we'll pop those off. The spar will need to be slipped in from the wing tip to the root. The reason for that is the spar at the under the step has a narrower height. And so what you have to do is break this the wing tip loose so that you can negotiate the spar uh, into past the wing tip into the wing. The spar is now being inserted into the rear openings of the ribs and what we need to do now is make sure there's no pinching. The uh, ribs, they're tight enough to where they can, the little friction will cause the rib to bind and pinch and that will stop the progress of the spar going into the uh, ribs. So you need to monitor that. The spar is 99% installed now, but we've stopped short one rib width here. We will need to apply glue to that line before we do the final push of the spar into place. With the spar in place, we now want to install the plywood reinforcing plates and then use test bolts to make sure we have good alignment with all five compression members. With the glue still wet, it's now time to permanently attach the rear spar to all five compression members. With the plate in place and permanently bolted down, you can drive the nails all the way in and perhaps use some C-clamps to help apply clamping pressure to the plywood reinforcing plates. The glue is still wet, so now we want to permanently attach the ribs to the spar. And we use two nails, just on the front vertical, uh, to attach the ribs to the spar. Now it's time to install all the hardware on the rear spar. Make sure when you bolt the fittings onto the spar that you put some varnish on the spar first. Tighten the internal wires two turns, as you had loosened them two turns, and then the final chore is to trammel the wing. That means square the wing in each bay so that your spar and wing will be straight. Thanks for watching the Big Sky Steerman Show. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks to Brent and the crew for making it look easy. Yep, it's been an adventure. See you next time. <laughs>